In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an RNAV GPS approach. We're doing the RNAV GPS Yankee runway 10 left at Columbus International Airport in Columbus, Ohio. The first step is to set up the approach in the FMS. Scroll down until you see RNAV 10 left Yankee. Pay attention to the letter and the runway left and right. Always verify what you selected matches what you see at the top of the approach plate. I've selected the pizza transition because I like pizza and it's also the most in line with where I departed from. Once we've activated the approach we want to verify that the next waypoint is in fact the one we selected which is pizza. Now we need to look at our waypoints to verify that they match the waypoints on the final approach segment on the approach plate along with the altitudes. We're finally in the air. We are flying between Pizza and Canby intersections. At 3,000 feet, around 240 knots. We don't need to slow down yet. Once we get on the final approach course, outside the final approach fix, that's a good time to start slowing down. We're now on the final approach segment inside Canby, coming up on a lean. We can come down to 2,700 feet, and that's where we'll intercept the glide path. And this is also a good time to slow down and start getting configured. We want to be fully configured, gear down, full flaps, prior to the final approach fix. Because all we're doing once we intercept the glide path is following the glide path down. The next thing we're looking for is our decision height of 1,015 feet. We're not going to do anything else to the airplane. We want to minimize our workload as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and select gear down. Normally we wouldn't do this until the glide path indicator is one dot high, but it is not working correctly on this simulator. It will come in in just a minute. 2,700 is captured. We can now arm the approach. Once that's pressed, you can see V out and GP in white on the scoreboard. And the white indicates what it's going to do next. So next it's going to look for the glide path. Once it comes down, it's going to follow it. Now you can see the pink diamond above us. The glide path is actually working the way it's supposed to now. The normal configuration right now would be gear down, approach flaps, and we're one dot high, which is right here, we go full flaps. Next thing to watch is the glide path. It's gonna be captured. When it captures right there, it's gonna turn green and say GP. And on an ILS, it's a glide slope. On this GPS approach, it's a glide path. With the autopilot and flight director in use, our minimum visibility is 1,800 feet. This is the flight director control panel. The autopilot follows the flight director. Now that we're following our glide path down and it's captured, we can set our missed approach altitude of 3,000 feet. The missed approach is climb straight ahead to 1,400, climbing left turn to 3,000, direct to Appleton and hold. In jet aircraft on approach, Normally you want to fly VREF plus 10 minimum. And since there's no actual performance information, I'm just using 130 knots that's made up. So 130 plus 10 is 140 minimum. One thing to note when doing an approach, if you get to minimums and don't see the airport, you can continue, provided you have approach lights in sight. If you do, you can go 100 feet above the touchdown zone elevation, which is 915 feet now. And if we see the airport by then, we land. If we don't, then we go missed. We're at minimums, but we have approach lights in sight. We can continue to 915.
Right there is exactly 915, and we have a runway in front of us. Land. And one technique I use after touchdown, check your brakes first. If they work, then use thrust reversers. The thing you don't want is to use thrust reversers and then find out your brakes don't work because they probably won't get you stopped if the runway is too short. And there you have it, an RNAV GPS approach. Not too difficult. If you like these videos, be sure to click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.